Hey guys, Miss Treadway here. We are going to be doing three days of notes on coordinate geometry, starting off with day one. And again, some of this should be review from math that you've had previously, but this is really gonna build on itself and we're gonna use it for new applications that we're learning in geometry. So starting off with some good old fashioned slope. Remember our slope is our vertical change over our horizontal change or our rise over our run. And we find that by subtracting y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's practice that really quick. If I'm given the points negative 1, 5, and 3, negative 1, I'm going to label these x1, y1, and x2, y2 to make it easier for myself to plug it into our equation up here. So y2 is negative 1 minus y1 is 5 over x2 minus x1. So negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. And then remember, when I have minus a negative, that becomes plus plus. So 3 plus 1 is 4. And I always want my slope um, to be in reduced form. So I'm going to reduce this down to negative 3 over 2. And that is my slope for those first set of points. Let's do it again. I'm again going to label my x1, y1 and x2, y2 and plug it into my formula. So 2 minus negative 6 over 4 minus negative 2. So again, when I subtract a negative, it becomes plus plus. So that is 8 and again plus plus over 6. And I do want it in simplest terms, so that is going to be 4 over 3. So there was my first slope. There was my second slope. Now we do have different types of slopes. We have positive slope, which is where our line would be increasing. We have negative slope, where it would be decreasing. So this negative 3 over 2, that would be a negative slope, so our line would slant downward like this. And this positive 4 over 3 is a positive slope, so our line would go upward, such as that. And then we have two other kinds of slopes called zero and undefined. Zero is a horizontal line, and an undefined slope is a vertical line. So that's what those kinds of slopes would look like on our graph. Okay. So now that we're more familiar with slope, let's review writing some equations of lines. The first one we're going to talk about is called slope-intercept form. And that form is y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. So when we're solving these kinds of problems, we first want to find the slope, and then we use the slope and one of the points we're given to find the y-intercept. So let's look at this example together. I want to find the equation of the line of point A at 3, negative 2, and point B, 4, 1 in slope-intercept form. So again, I first want to find my slope. And remember, that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I can label my points like I did above, just to make it easier to plug in. So 1 minus negative 2 over 4 minus 3. And again, minus minus becomes plus plus. So I get 3 over 1, which is just 3. So that's my slope. And now I need to solve for my slope, in, my, sorry, my y-intercept. And I do that by plugging in one of these points. I could do A or B. And I'm just going to use A. And so I plug in my y value, negative 2, is equal to my slope is 3, my x value is 3, plus b. I don't know what b is. So I took this equation, y equals mx plus b. I plugged in for y, m, and x because that's what I know, and now I'm solving for b. And it's just a simple algebra equation. So negative 2 is equal to 9 plus b. I subtract 9 on both sides, and I get that b is equal to negative 11. But I'm not done. I have to write this as my equation. And my equation of my line in slope-intercept form is going to be y equals m, our slope was 3, x plus b, which is negative 11, so minus 11. And that is the equation of my line. Right, and then moving on to our next page, we are going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines here for a moment. 
And the first thing about parallel lines is that they have the same slope and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. And what that means is I flip my fraction upside down and I change the sign. So if my slope was one half, then my perpendicular slope would be negative two over one or negative two. So I change the sign from positive to negative or negative to positive and I flip my fraction upside down. And then for a par parallel slope, it just stays the same. So let's look at this example here. I want to find for the line that passes through C at six negative two and D at one negative four, find the slope of a line that would be parallel to CD. So remember, parallel slope is the same, so I need to find the slope of CD. So I've got my x1, y1, x2, y2, and I'm going to use my slope equation. And remember, this becomes plus plus. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 over negative 5. And a negative over a negative is positive. So that's going to be positive 2 over 5 for that slope. Now, if I want to find a slope perpendicular to CD, so my perpendicular slope, again, I flip my fraction upside down and I change the sign. So it was positive here, so my perpendicular slope is going to be negative. Okay, so not too bad. And now we're going to talk about one more way to write the equation of a line, and that is called point-slope form. And that is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where again, m is still our slope, and x1 and y1 are a point that's on our line. So let's do one more practice problem to practice our point-slope form. So we want to write an equation that passes through 6, negative 3, so that's going to be my x1, y1 and is parallel to this line. And so this is our slope intercept form. So to find my slope, I need to look at what's in front of the x. And so my slope is negative two over three. And because I'm looking for a parallel line, my parallel slope is also going to be negative two over three. Parallel lines have the same slope. So I'm just gonna now plug in what I know into my slope intercept form. So y minus y1 was negative 3 is equal to my slope, negative 2 over 3, x minus x1, which is 6. Now I can't leave it like this. I need to make this plus plus. So this is going to be y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 over 3, x minus 6. Now, my problem doesn't say to do this, but for practice, let's also write the equation of the perpendicular line. So remember, my perpendicular slope would be the opposite reciprocal, so I flip my fraction upside down, and I change the sign. So it was negative here, so it's going to be a positive 3 over 2. And if it goes to the same point, then my points stay the same. y minus negative 3 is equal to, but my slope is different, 3 over 2 x minus 6, and again, I do need to change that to plus. And so here would be the equation for our parallel line, and here would be the equation for our perpendicular line.